My dream panel glue up rack is almost $4,000. And instead of spending that, I made this for around 200. Let's check it out. I've been using this rack for about a year and a half, two years, and I've glued up several hundred, I think around seven or 800 different panels, as well as nearly 150 of these cutting boards. So I'm actually gonna move it a little bit so we can see it better. Hopefully you can see it better there and I'll show you how it works. This DIY clamp rack you can make in a couple hours using a welder. It's a very straightforward project. I did come across a company called uh, TNT Industries, not associated with them in any way, but I thought their design was cool. The biggest drawback for me when I was looking at their system was the cost. So it's about six times more expensive than this DIY version if you're looking at the size and capacity. And yes, that's materials only, so if you count your labor as zero, then it's about six times more expensive. We have 30 of these pipe clamps across the top here hanging on some hangers that I made on a French cleat going across the top there. And then of course, the actual clamp rack. It's very basic, but also extremely functional. Now the cost of this is based off of the original size. We cut this down. It used to be, oh, I don't know, four feet wide. So all in, this is about $200. One of the challenges with designing this rack was to keep these pipes from rotating and also from sliding off. And you can see this kind of jerry-rigged solution, but it's just a bolt with some washers and then this clamp. I'll put it on screen what it's called, but this clamp to just hold it there. What I, I think I'll do is I'll spot weld all of these because they tend to get loose over time. This of course is one of the clamps and we've got the Bessie version and this is a three quarter inch round by I believe 24 inches. You could get any size really what you need. This brand, I don't know if it's the best, but it's what we've used. And really it doesn't matter if you get the, I believe it's called H style with the feet. You really don't need to because you've got the rack. Um, but the biggest issue I found with these is either the metal is too soft or these teeth aren't grabbing well enough. One, the, the two things we've done to help with that is we've ground down this metal in some places to help it grab better. But also if we're gluing up, we can pinch this and that'll help the metal grab a little bit better. This entire setup for one clamp will run you about 20 to $25. Depending on how much you spend on these, typically you can get these 10 to $16 a pair plus the pipe. From this angle, you can see the angle at which these clamps are set. I think I would change that. These are a little too steep. The, the reason I say that is because as we're gluing things up, sometimes they like to slip, which makes it difficult. So I think I would, I would make these more like this you know you just need a steep enough angle where these aren't going to slide out the other way If I were to do this again, one thing I might change is the distance between here and here, because depending on the glue up, these, this bar can actually get in the way. So we either have to use a spacer or put the clamps here. I think what I'll do is give some measurements of this rack in case you wanna build one for yourself. If I have plans available, I will link them somewhere. The height to the very top here is 63 inches and your first row 
is at 9 inches, second row is at 18, third row is at 28, fourth row is at 38, and fifth row is at about 50 inches. So you've got about nine and a half inches between rows. That gives us enough room to move the clamps in and out if there's rows of clamps already in the rack. If these were too close, then you wouldn't be able to lift the rack and get it out of the clamp. The width here is approximately 30 inches. Again, like I said, you can do this any width. I wouldn't go any farther than maybe four feet because then you'll start to get some bowing when you're doing the larger glue ups with these pipes here. The distance between front and back is approximately nine inches. And then your base here, the feet are, oh, those are probably 20 inches long. The back row starts at 12 inches and then you've got your pipes at the same distance from each other as the front row.